Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the Microsoft Edge search box in Windows 10. So if you have that search box placeholder and you want to get rid of that placeholder text and just make it appear blank, so where it says search or enter web address and you just don't want to see it say anything, you just want to have it clear, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start by opening up the start menu. Just I'll call on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor right above desktop app. You want to go right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. In order to do that, it's quite simple. Just want to go ahead and left click on the file tab up at the top left. Left click on export. Make sure export range is selected to all. And as for file name, usually the date in which you're making the backup is what I recommend. Save it to a convenient location on your computer and then select save. And then if you ever need to come back from the backup, just left click on the file tab, left click on import, and just navigate over to the file. So pretty straightforward. And once you have done that, you want to go now expand the HK current user folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for classes. Go down to local settings. So you're going to have to scroll down a little bit here. Expand that one as well. It should be a software folder. Expand that. It should be a Microsoft folder. Expand that one now. Expand the Windows folder. Expand current version. It should be an app container folder. You want to expand that one as well. And now you want to expand the storage folder underneath of that. Please note, if you're getting lost in terms of how we're moving along in this tutorial, just take note of the path at the top of the screen here. You can see each slash represents another folder we went underneath. Feel free to rewatch or slow down the video if you want. You can adjust the speed settings on the video. So now that you've done that and we're underneath App Container and we've just expanded Storage, you want to now look for something that says Microsoft.Microsoft Edge. Wasn't too hard to locate here. So it shouldn't be too far from the top. You can see in relation to where my storage folder is, so hopefully it won't take you guys too long to find that. You want to expand that. And now there should be a services. Now there should be a Microsoft Edge folder in here. You want to expand that. And now you want to go expand service UI, all one word, right here. I'm going to actually make this registry editor screen wider here so you can see the full path. It is quite a lot to take in, so you just take your time, pause the video at this point if you wanted to see the full path that we went underneath here. And now that we have left clicked on Service UI, now on the right side we're going to create two values in here. Please note I will likely transpose the text on the screen of this tutorial at this time, and I will have it in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy the first one from my description, so just Control C or highlight over it and right click and copy from my description. Go over to the right side here, right click on a blank area, left click on new, select D Word 32 bit value. We're going to paste the first one in here. So hide address box placeholder text on start page. When hit enter on the keyboard to save that. And now you want to double click on it. Value data, if it says zero, delete it. Type the number one. So don't spell out one, just type the number one. Left click on OK. And now we're going to do the same thing for the second line of text. So right click in a blank area, left click on new, select the word 32 bit value. This one is hide address box placeholder text on new tab page. Hit enter on your keyboard, double click on it. Value data, we're going to set that to 1 as well. So just type the number 1. Left click on OK. Close out of here. So that should hopefully be about it guys. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.